okay, let's do it. Let's 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 have the product. Jordan, this is what we have to do. We have to do a quick commercial. The okay. sponsor now is Lady Crackers. Oh yes. Why don't you just give an ad for Lady Crackers right now and just make it up as you go? <sighs> Lady Crackers, Los Angeles olive oil and sea salt. Now you're going to often find lesser quality oils used in many products. Things like soybean oil. These are industrial oils. Then you'll find seed oils, sunflower, safflower. Rarely do you find a brand that's willing to go to the expense of providing a premium oil because frankly most consumers don't understand what they're putting in their body. They shovel food in. They don't understand the quality of said food. Now you have a product that is using olive oil, one of the finest this oils on earth. He had, By the can way, I just confirm? Can I confirm? Hold on, stop you for one second. Can I confirm? Frank, he had no idea what I was going to hand him. No idea. Then, no, this is not written. There's no copy. There's no copy. This is absolute. What are you doing? How are you able to do that? <laughs> well, the first thing I, I look for a product made with olive oil and lack of seed oils or processed oils like canola, which is also called rapeseed, which people perceive because it has a high monounsaturated fat content. Did you they say grapeseed? Rapeseed. <laughs> but don't talk that way on this program. What are you talking about? That's awful. That's a piece of flora. Nevertheless, I look for products that don't use processed or seed oils. I like certain kinds of fats. I like olive oil, butter, uh, or ghee. A coconut oil is fine. Let's get back to, uh, you know, the sponsor is going to want to hear their product name and a little more about the product rather than a list of every oil that exists. Yeah. Lady Crackers Los Angeles. Olive oil and sea salt premium. Very few ingredients, which is always a good thing. Would you thing. like to taste one? Why don't you open it up and taste one? Uh, I, it's please. Okay. I, I, uh, oh, could you please? I typically try to Would you avoid. Please? Yeah. It's okay. Would you please? Avoid. <laughs> please. Yeah. Just open it. And when just... I open a box like this, I don't. I like to keep these three tabs intact. Okay. Sometimes it's a challenge. Well, that's great. If I have to look, I believe that we're defined by what surrounds us aesthetically every day. I like a beautiful looking box to surround me. A box that I could picture you, especially if we're producing a program like this, ripping this thing. I would tear that. Some, I would just yeah, tear like it apart. a gorilla. But uh, I like to uh, put it open in your it mouth, delicately. Please. Yeah. yeah. Stick it in your mouth. Yeah. Right. Just have the cracker, please. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, well, uh, what do you think? Not overly salted. That's a good thing. You right. Know? Sometimes they put too much salt on. Sometimes they put too much salt. Oh, 340 milligrams. That's a little high per serving. I don't know how you define a serving size. One ounce. That's a sponsor, Jordan. So just try and be positive about it. Is that to say that it's a perfect product? I, who am I to who am I to assess? This is the worst ad ever. You well, can't just crunch what, it. What and I'm say saying it's not is, I, I see a lot of. If you're looking for a cracker, if I were looking for a cracker, if I yeah. found myself, a lot of people look for crackers in their daily lives. Yeah, they feel like they want a cracker. If I wanted a cracker, I would certainly go for Lady and Larder. That's a fine pitch. I'm going to do you one better, Lady and Larder. I want a cracker at night, and I want one with a clean crunch. Mmm, that gives you that lady and larder crackle. The munch crunch that makes you happy a whole bunch. That's why I like lady and larder. Lady and larder, tear that box open, rip them tabs, and slam that cracker down your puss. And remember, if any crumbs go astray, use your tongue, get it outside your face, and lick them up. Keep that tongue outside your head. It's a good way to get those crumbs. Lady and Lada, now with more of the good stuff that you love. Get it now. What do you think? Good ad? Well, you know, we have different approaches. Yeah. You I talked in a very depressed way for a while. And I, I said, seems like kind of a high sodium content. In the end, we both appreciate Lady uh, Crackers mm -hmm. for different reasons. Yeah. You like the clean crunch. I like the lack of over-reliance on processed industrial oils. It's the... Clean crunch that gives you a munch, and I love it a bunch. <laughs> See the way it rhymes? Yeah. People love that in an mm -hmm. ad. They're not going to remember your sodium content quip, but they're going to remember they mine. Should. <laughs> Do you have an idea for a jingle for this? Do you want to sing a little song yeah, about Yeah, the company it? asked us to, to sing a jingle. Can you please do the jingle? I'm not one to sing, but uh, I could tell you... I wrote a jingle for Guinness beer once. I mm -hmm. entered a contest in 1996. Oh, what's And I believe I should have won. So the okay, contest, they may have this regularly. You had to write a limerick. You're familiar with a limerick? Oh, it, that's racist, yeah. but sure. Yeah, and I have I live with a leprechaun. Okay. And I just ate a uh, four-leaf clover yeah. for lunch. A limerick is a written work that follows a very specific syntax and rhyming structure, okay? Mm -hmm. Five lines, yep. one, two, and five yep. rhyme, and then three and four rhyme, okay? Yeah. Guinness had a contest. Come up with a limerick, and the winner will get maybe it was a trip to Ireland or something mm -hmm. like this. So in 1996, I sent in a limerick, which I 
have to believe would have run. Would, would have won. It? I absolutely remember it. I can't wait to hear it. And I'm and the fact that it didn't win tells me that either they lost the mail or or someone didn't the right person didn't look at it. Right. What's the limerick? Okay, here's the limerick about Guinness beer. Across ire, a young traveler set out on a quest to find fortune, no doubt. As he strolled into Ennis, he was pulled a cold Guinness, hence the lad's pot of gold was that stout. You know what? That's good. Yeah, that is good. That's very good. Yeah. And I spent a long time on it. Oh, I hope you didn't spend too long on it, but... <laughs> well, I want to know what was better than that. I'd like to know Guinness... In 1996, what was a better limerick than that to promote your product? I got no acknowledgement. There was an old nothing. man from I... Nantucket <laughs> who wanted his young friend to suck it. He said, Guinness, I said. I didn't mean your head. And then the guy kicked the bucket. <laughs> I just made that up. That's pretty yeah. good. And you know what? I spent no time on it. Yeah. And it's got something dirty in it, so everyone's going to remember it. Yeah, I feel mine is superior. Okay, but the point is... Uh, don't you're still bitter that you lost that Guinness yeah, contest? Yeah, I am. Okay, I don't need the what trip the, to Ireland. The, I'd like the recognition. What was the prize? I believe it was a trip to Ireland. I, I can't confirm. <laughs> wow, some prize. I don't drink beer myself. <laughs> My so family I... fled that place. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Let's get out of here. There's nothing to eat. You're referring to the potato famine? No, <laughs> my people fled in 1982. The line at Burger King was too long. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Let's get to Brookline, Mass. They flew over on Aer Lingus. Um, Aer Lingus, that'd be a funny old limerick. Also dirty. Hey, listen, uh, I thought you did a good job with the ad. 